What is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of Our Streamers Cheaters. Today we're going to be talking to you about someone who is, uh, has been mentioned before. We're going to discuss a little bit about them first. Let's just say they've got some skills, okay? Got some very good acting techniques. Very good at dance. They love horseback riding. Very good at bodybuilding too. Not to mention being a black belt in a form of martial arts. I'm going to say their name. And you're going to be wondering, who the hell is that? I'm going to tell you the name as Nick Lester, okay? No? Who could that be? You don't know. Okay. Maybe I should tell you a little bit more about them. So let's say that in 2015, he played the lead role in uh, Here, Government Scheme Advert. In 2015 also, he played the lead role in a short film called Cured. The director was Ed uh, Baisley. 2015, he played the lead role in a short film called This Too Shall Pass. Again, directed, oh no, different director this time, Sean Pullen. In 2012, he played the lead role in stage play The Kitchen. No, you don't know who this is. Okay, okay. So what we're going to do now, we're going to pull up some information on this guy and you're going to have a look who he is. And then we're going to talk a little bit more about him and why he's pulled up in this category of our streamers cheaters. Let's take a look now. Does anybody recognise this face at all? No? Because lo and behold, we have image after image after image of Nick Lester on Google Images. Okay? Now... That doesn't look like Nick Lester to me. It looks like Nick Savage. Not that guy. Don't know who that guy is. So Nick Savage, the streamer, okay? The one who's constantly talking about how he's got anxiety. The one who's constantly giving this heartwarming speech about this, that, the other, right? He's an actor. The reason I'm bringing this up at the start of this video is for the following reasons. We're going to point out some... Some very, very specific things. Now, as you all know, we put a video out about Nick Savage being a Call of Duty Warzone hacker. There was enough evidence in there to suggest that he was hacking. And then since then, he's gone and deleted over 240 hours of gameplay. He's That's over 80 streams, 80 days worth of hard work and streams that he's put into his page. Why not just show the Activision ID that we requested? And prove to everyone that he hadn't been banned. No, not not Nick Savage. Sorry, Nick Lester. Wait, no, Nick Savage. Oh, wait, I'm confused. Okay, anyway, this guy who's here. Loads of him behind me. This guy went and deleted all that footage instead of proving to his followers and his community that he was a genuine, legitimate person who was not streaming and cheating at the same time. It just screams guilt, in my opinion. That's up to you to decide if you think it is. Anyway, let's move on to the next part of this. It gets more interesting. Just in case you were thinking, oh, maybe he was a small actor back in 2015. That's not just the case. The case is that he's still actively seeking acting work. He's been in a play two years ago um, called Answers, written by Tom Topper, directed by Kirsty Cubberly Lobb. There's the, there's the proof there. And he, do you know what? Bearing in mind, like... The way he comes across to, on stream, he's a very good actor, okay? Based on all the images I've seen, he's been very popular on Broadway, very popular on stage acting, as well as short films and things like that. Now, it's, it's not my expertise, that side of things, so I can't judge whether or not he is actually good. But let me show you the performance that I believe to be absolutely exceptional. And you, it's up to you to decide whether or not you believe this was an exceptional performance as well. Let's go and take a look. This video that I recorded was the stream when he come back after going to watch the video that I'd uploaded to YouTube. Somebody went into his chat while he was live and told him there was a YouTube video up. And the, you should have seen his response. We'll show you that after this clip. But this is my favourite part. I felt like something wasn't right with the way his attitude was at this point. He seems to be sort of nervous, but getting himself prepared. Love you too, Luke, man. You can you can see the way he's fixing his hair and stuff like that. He's getting himself prepared, almost as if he's preparing himself for a performance. 
Now, what we're going to do, we're going to just show you guys exactly what happens here. It's down to you to decide whether or not you believe it was an exceptional performance or whether you believe it was genuine. Let me know in the comments below, but we're going to carry on and watch this now. And, uh, yeah, just remember, he's just found out there was a video on YouTube calling him out for being a cheat. Whether or not that's true, it was down to everyone to decide. But his response to me screams that he might be uh, acting a little bit guilty. Let's have a look at his response. Oh my god. Get into character. Get into character. Get into character. <sighs> hey, good to see you, brother. I'm fucking shaking, man. I'm not mad. I was very, very mad, and then I spoke to Fixer and he calmed me down. He was very mad. Bro, like I said, that guy does it to everybody. Jaden, good to see you, man. If we're gonna hate, bro, I wouldn't bother with it. So pissed. I were angry, and now I'm just fucking dismayed and fucking sad. But it is what it is. I've just looked as well. He's made a video about Moharisi. Who I'm a fucking fan of. I think Maharis is a great fucking streamer. Supporters fucking of a cheater? All okay. Are hackers, man. Nope, just so the hackers are hackers, mate. What is, is there's a video out there where someone's gone. And I mean, you know what? Everybody fucking hates hackers, man. I fucking hate okay. hackers. Everybody. Let's go back a little bit. This is the performance part. This is the main bit. This is the one I like. Where he's got to try and now figure out how to agree with what I'm doing, but at the same time, clear his own name, okay? So let's go back and watch it again and, and go. I mean, you know what? Everybody fucking hates hackers, man. I fucking hate hackers. Everybody fucking hate hackers. Yep. Hackers piss me the fuck off, man. <laughs> and I can yeah. see what he's doing. He's trying to do something that's good by clearing the community of them. But he's it's, gone and he's got I'm a selection of fucking clips. Of me doing stuff fucking really unbelievable. Out of yeah, because it was. It was fucking literally unbelievable. 80 days or whatever it was, a streaming war zone, and he's put them all together. And he's like, he's doing this here. He's, he's using a, he's using, he called it a fucking, um, he called it a rapid fucking fire. I didn't even know what a rapid fire now, fucking was. Oh, fire fucking now he's trying to figure out what a rapid fire is. Let's be honest, right? He knows what I'm on about because he was using it. Yeah? Wasn't me using it in the game, was it? it? Wasn't me who was hitting shots with a foul that looked like a fully automatic weapon. Anyway, let's carry on. He's saying I'm using a rapid fire. What's that when you click and it just fires one fuck? It fire shoots a million times. Ding 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 ding. Saying... Got it in one. He got it in one. Didn't know what it was a minute ago. All of a sudden he's. Oh, what's that when you press the button and it just rapid fires? Well, Nick. Great now, acting so far, let's go. Server under my own name and started asking about hacks. Under my own name. I did state in the video originally that I wasn't sure whether or not it was him in the Discord server. I believed it could be. I have actually since debunked that and I don't think it was him in a Discord server. But that's besides the point. He still acted guilty in the sense of deleting all his content from that point. And anything Warzone related linked to his page is gone. Let's crack on, carry on with the video. Savage. Shock look. <gasps> I'm back what in the video. You'd have to fucking be to do that. I mean, two minds about it, because I can see what he's trying to do for the fucking community by calling out people who's a hackers, but he's putting shit together in fucking, like, I think he's just gone a bit fucking mad with it, man. And it does make me angry, but it makes me upset. Oh, don't fucking hope. Get angry, Nick. Playing, um, doesn't bother me, mate. Since I was about fucking 12. And have you been using aimbot and wall hacks since you were 12, Nick? That is the question. And I've been called a hacker a million fucking times. Were they right in calling you a hacker, Nick? That is also the question. I've been called a hacker a million fucking times, man. So I'm I'm used to it. I'm used to being called a hacker. 
But what he does make me not want to <coughs> do is <make coughs> not want to play fucking first person shooters anymore because I don't need that, man. I'd rather play a game that nobody can possibly accuse me of fucking hacking on. Best bet would be to play a game and not hack on it then, wouldn't it, Nick? Let's be honest. <clears throat> so, I mean, it's probably going to get a little bit rocky over the next few fucking days now that it's put this video up, people are going to be coming in. But I tell you what I'm not going to do. I'm not going to sit there like Toupee, who did hack and admit I hacked because I didn't. I did not fucking... I did not fucking hack, man. I built this community. It fucking breaks my heart, man. This is another part where I believe he's about to start trying to bring on the walls works. So we've had anger, shock, uh, understanding. Now he's going through the emotion of uh, feeling sad and down. Let's carry on. He's trying to make himself look good, which he isn't. Just trying to get with his followers, fucking jealous prick. He's gone after people who I actually really fucking like as streamers, and he's calling them all fucking hackers. I don't know. I don't know who Miri TV is. I know who Maharasi is. Fuck him and fuck anyone else who thinks it. Fuck you. It is what it is, man. It's fucking wicked. It is what it is, isn't it, Nick? <sighs> I wish I didn't have two minds about this. Because one mind, I'm like, it's good that someone's fucking calling them out. But not when they're fucking put together. It's very good, Nick. It's very if good, you I agree. Any fucking top streamer shit, somebody who's good. And I was nowhere near as good as some of them, man. Like, if you went through all of them, you'd be like, how the fuck did he do that? And then if you combine them all together... If you combine them all together and put them next to each other and you say, right, he's doing this here, he's doing this here, he's doing this here, anybody can make it look like someone's fucking hacking. This is where you're wrong now, Nick, because actually it's all about the way the movements happened. So I could combine a million clips together of the top streamers out there who aren't hacking and it would still look like they are not hacking. Okay? But what happened is you were in a process of checking through walls and you were in the process of snapping onto people and i saw all this i didn't have to look very far and wide through your clips to actually find these things mate it didn't take very long at all for me to find footage that was capable of putting together in a video all, all i had to do was scroll right back to the start of you starting streaming on facebook and it was all there for the taking right at the start so from the minute you started streaming on Facebook, every single one of your videos looked very, very similar and very suspect. There wasn't a single video throughout that whole process, which was playing Call of Duty Warzone, where it looked legitimate, mate. Now, I could go and check out some of the biggest streamers on Facebook gaming. Let's talk about Stone Mountain for a second. Stone Mountain 64, I could go and watch every single one of his videos. From the minute he started streaming, and I would not be able to put together as many suspect clips as what I got off a couple of videos from you. And that's somebody who streamed for a hell of a lot longer than you, for a lot more every day, and so on. He streams to millions of people, and he is not suspect. Unfortunately, though, if you use any form of hacking software, it's going to make you look suspicious in any way, shape, or form, because, well, you are. Okay, let's crack on and see what else he's got to say. Settle down, bro. We know you didn't, my guy. I thought that piece of shit is a joke. Let's make a career out of slandering people. Fuck you. If anyone actually genuinely believes that from the bottom of your heart, just don't watch me anymore, man, because that's not what this fucking community is about. On the waterworks, Nick. Um, let's go with the thing is right a lot of people are going to be a little bit um and 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 i'll tell you now right if nick had turned around and said do you know what guys this is what i'm going to do i'm going to sign into the activision id that he showed on his video and i'm going to show you all that i can go into a game play the game i've got all the same weapons the same activision id and so on i'm not shadow banned in any way shape or form boom there you go but now you didn't did you nick what you did is you deleted any any like evidence whatsoever that there was of Warzone being linked to your name and your page. You've deleted everything, mate. And then now you're telling people that not to watch it if they don't believe you. So don't try and guilt trip your community into thinking that you're right when you won't prove to them 
that I'm wrong. If you want, if you wanted your community to believe you 100%, and every single one of your community to back you up. A lot of them did, don't get me wrong, a lot of them come into my into my comments and give me some hell of shit, like, I got a lot of shit from your community, mate. But, not one of them had any evidence to prove me wrong and debunk my video. You were the only one who held the key to debunk my video, and that is to sign into the exact Activision ID, and you won't do it. Let's carry on with the video, what else have you got to say? Kills me, man. Anyway, watch it. Fucking watch it. Tell you what, there's been... I did. What are you saying? He's keeping his KD low. What the actual fuck? Thank you for the 50 stars. I appreciate it, Boof. Um, what did I want to say about this? I mean, it blew me away that someone spent all that fucking time, all that time putting that together for little old fucking Nick Savage. I'll be honest, Nick, it's not about you in any way. Not about you. I've not got a personal vendetta against you. The way in which your community have handled things towards me, towards the people commenting on my videos, people who also have knowledge of aim bottom wall hack softwares, right? People who can spot it a mile off. And your community was so rude, so aggressive coming into my comments, right? I'm doing this video for that reason, just so you're aware of that. But there was never ever a personal attack against you. For, for what happened, for the fact that you were cheating and hacking in a game, if you were, there was nothing personal about it. It was only about stopping hackers from being streamers and robbing a community from a genuine, legitimate player who was a streamer. These guys are grinding hard, working harder every single day than you ever did. And they're suffering because of people coming onto the platform and cheating their way to the top. That's what this is about, and I will make sure I never stop until all the hackers have been outed, or at least to the point where I've outed enough hackers and cheaters to people not wanting to do it because if they get caught by me or the platform that they're streaming on, it'll be the end of days for them. Let's see what else you've got to say. Um, I don't know what to say, man. He did this to two pair, <laughs> and fair play, the guy caught fucking two pair. Do you know what I mean? <coughs> And, um, You've used two pay as an example a few times now, but he was a hacker. He admitted to being a hacker. Yeah, man, it's just, uh, it fucking, I don't know, it just gets you. Fixer wants to talk to me. There's a streamer called Symphony who gets accused daily, mate. Um, he's one of the best ones. Another one of my videos, Symphony. Yeah. I'll tell you what, right now, there's been shit that I've done on fucking stream that I'm like, how the fuck did I do that? I've literally said it in chat, like, how the fuck did I do that? Sure he did. If you get them and bang them all together, what's fucking going to happen? You put all them together and you're saying he's doing this and he's doing this and he's doing this. <sighs> hmm. And I want even one of the best. What a... God damn it. You weren't. Just stars from Definitely Sizzle. weren't. Thank you, mate. What's going on, man? I missed... Okay, so there we have it, guys. We had a lovely video of him there talking about... And he went through all his emotions, let's be honest. Do you think that was an Oscar-winning performance? I'm not too sure. I'll leave that to the judges to decide. However, he mentioned to pay a few times. He mentioned that he felt like what I was doing was a good thing. And that also, he's just gutted that he was on the receiving end of it. It would never have happened if there wasn't suspicious clips. The fact that he said a, a few times throughout that as well, that if you actually grab a couple of them, what the fuck, how did I do them moments, and put them all together, it looks like someone's hacking. Yeah, it can do. Of course it can. But that's why you deleted 80 days of footage, over 240 hours of footage, is to cover your trails. After saying them things on your stream, you thought, shit, what if he goes and does another video? What if he goes and crops it all together? What if I told you that I saved over 100 hours of footage? What, what if I told you that? Vegas, this is the moment someone went into his chat and told him Steve, that's lame. Everyone there was a video on YouTube. Yeah. Let's watch his reaction so now. <laughs> Jamie fucking boot. The boot. Carlos, good to see you, man. Thank you for the 50 stars. Is that a first time star sender? Welcome, brother. Hope you're doing well. You ready? Thank you so much. There's a video on YouTube about me saying I got banned from Activision because of an aimbot. I hope you're fucking joking. 
Oh, that's an absolute fucking bullshit thing, it's Steve. A fine ship, Alexio. With every, all the shit that's going around, I hope you're fucking joking. I'm not banned at all, I can log right into my account, like, right now, like I just fucking did. Only you never, and it wasn't the same Activision ID, you decided not to show anybody your Activision ID. I just think the response, let's go back a little bit, because you can see the moments here where he realises, shit, somebody's on to me, is when it's like a gulp and you can, like, struggles you know to what? get his you words out. You're saying I got banned from Activision because of an aimbot? Ready? I hope you're fucking joking. I hope that's an absolute hope fucking bullshit thing. Joking. With every, all the shit that's going around, I hope you're fucking joking. I'm not banned at all, I can log right into my account. Like, right now, like I just fucking did. Oh my they god. can't. So many fucking dickheads. Not a dickhead. Maybe a little bit now, I don't know. But... While I was making this video, all I was thinking about is the community of Facebook gaming and not serious? wanting them to actually get extorted out of any money. Fucking up, not my account. being lied to oh. by their favourite streamer. <clears throat> I hope you're fucking joking. <clears throat> this is the this is the moment is he on? found out this, anyway. Is this an actual thing? Is someone fucking trying to slate me? Not slating yet, nah, just like I, stating I what I see. Man. And it's on I bad boy beaming. People coming in and saying this sort of shit. If that's genuine. His reaction's absolutely priceless. There is, I've just found it. Right, I'll end my stream and I'm going to fucking watch whatever this is and I'll, I'll talk to you guys soon. That's fucking uploaded 35 minutes ago. I'll come back online I'll just see what's going on and I'll fucking... So that was his reaction anyway, when he found out that there was actually a video up on YouTube. And again, the, the whole reaction there, he couldn't control it. It was natural reaction is, if you are guilty, you automatically appear to be guilty. And that's what seemed to happen in that moment, in my opinion. What do you guys think? Do you think he looked guilty at that moment? Do you think you could tell, oh shit, I've been caught? Or do you think he was just like absolutely devastated that somebody was ma making false al allegations against him? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. It makes you question a lot of things about people at that moment when you realise that they may have actually lied to you about something major. Something which benefited them financially. So, is he even from Yorkshire? Because everywhere I've looked online, this guy who I am looking at right now under a different name to what we know him as, which is Nick Savage, actually attended a speech and drama school. Now that would include obviously acting classes and things of the sort, but the speech part makes me believe that he would obviously learn like accents and, uh, and so on. That's just an opinion. Nothing more, nothing less. Is he from Yorkshire or is he from London? Because everywhere I've looked online says he's not from Yorkshire. But that's down to you guys to decide. Again, it's just another one. Once somebody opens a can of worms with one lie and then you find another and another and another, it just makes you wonder what actually is true about them. Doesn't it? We've scrolled as far back as we can in the video section on his page on Facebook Gaming. And the last video that was actually uploaded or live streamed to his page was only three weeks ago. Bearing in mind that... He had, what, 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 let's have a look at the newest, which was, like, day 105, stream day 105, okay? From stream day 83, which means 82 videos prior to that were removed, plus whatever clips he'd uploaded as well, which were related to Warzone. So this is just evidence, again, that he deleted everything that was linked to Warzone in any way. If we go on to the more section, look at about, there's nothing in there about him being a Call of Duty streamer. I'm not sure if there was in the first place, but I'll tell you now that it just literally says brand new Yorkshire streamer. Videos, again, that we've just been through. If you go on to lives, it's the same. All his X live streams, which were Warzone related, have been removed. Well, there you have it, guys. Another video on Nick Savage or Lester or, or Savage. Oh, I don't know. It's up to you guys to decide. Nick Savage, obviously a stage name, isn't it? Which actors mainly have 
stage name when they are acting. So yeah, I'll leave that with you and hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to drop a comment below and let me know what you think. If you're new, subscribe and turn on notifications. And if you want to support the channel that little bit extra, all you got to do is hit that blue join button and become a member today. You'll unlock a loyalty badge next to your name. You'll unlock custom emojis to use in the comments and the live streams. And you will also be entered into member-only giveaways. Not just that, but we do leak information about future videos in the community section for members only. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace!